Chad HD Show, News Talk 790 KFYM. Thank you very much for uh, tuning in. Got a couple of uh, special guests in studio. Uh, Major Russ uh, Quinca in studio. Yep, we got And it. Lieutenant Aaron uh, Reckonzone in studio as well. Uh, welcome back uh, to KFYM. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Welcome back to the show. Uh, tell our listeners about a uh, very cool event that's coming up. Yes, on Memorial Day weekend, May 28th and 29th, Cannon Air Force Base is having an air show, uh, which is in Clovis. And we have a, a multitude of aerial demonstrations for you guys. Um, and we also have some uh, kid ev- events as well. But big pictures, we have the aerial events that we have is uh, the CB-22 formation for the National Anthem. We will have a shockwave jet truck, hmm. which will be coming down the runway. We'll also have the U- U.S. Air Force Academy, Wings of Blue, as well as their glider team. And something special that's not – it's rare to uh, air shows is we'll have our MQ-9, which is a, a unmanned aerial system, flying uh, during, during a demonstration for an air show. So it will be the first time an MQ-9 will be uh, flying. Also, we'll have our c- capabilities demonstrations, which we are showcasing our – Special operations wing aircraft, such as the gunship, the CV-22 Osprey, and the MC-130J. Um, after that, we'll also have the Warbirds. Uh, if you haven't seen any of these vintage aircrafts, like the B-25, mm-hmm. the AT-6, A-26, as well as the P-51, they'll be flying and doing their aerial demonstration. Um, also Very rare, cool. yeah, also, Chad, also another thing rare for our air show is the Gunship Legacy Formation Flight, which takes aircraft from back in Vietnam, all the way to our new generation, which is the AC-130J gunship, and they'll be flying in formation. And basically, we'll top off that whole day with the Thunderbirds, the F-16 Thunderbirds coming out of Nellis Air Force Base, and they will do their aerial demonstrations at at speeds that are ridiculous that we don't even fly in our base. So (laughs) it'll be good for uh, Lubbock folks to come out there and just see the variety of aircrafts coming out there. Yeah, it's uh, it's very cool. It's coming up at Memorial Day weekend, so a long weekend for hopefully a lot of folks out there, uh, and they can get out to Cannon Air Force Base. Uh, you know, air shows, they're so much fun. Uh, I mean, you know, for, for so many people, uh, and if you haven't been to one, uh, go out there and, uh, you're, you're always going to be amazed by, by what you see. Uh, what's the, the cost, uh, for people to, uh, to get in and, uh, when should people, I, I guess, turn out? Yeah, so everything at our air show, uh, as far as events and activities, is free. So we have entry for free, parking for free, all the aerial demonstrations you can view, and also bouncy castles and laser tag for children. So make sure to bring the whole family out. It's definitely going to be a fun event for everyone. And this is going on Saturday and Sunday, correct? It is. uh, The gates open at 9 o'clock. And we close out at 5 o'clock in the afternoon because we want everybody to get the advantage to see all the static displays out there, our, the military aircrafts, so you could go up close and personal with the air crew and actually touch the aircrafts that fly over Clovis and sometimes over Lobeck to uh, say, hey, that's a great aircraft to see our capabilities that's unique to special operations. What is the uh, shockwave jet truck? Uh, that one is a semi-truck with jet engines on the back. That runs down the runway at about 300 miles per hour. So. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. <laughs> it is. It's impressive. Uh, for a military guy, that's very impressive. And it gets us a good variety. And our, our air show is pretty much the aerial demonstration. But having this will just give it a great variety for uh, the folks coming to the air show. That's and we'll have food. So hey. lots of concession stands. Make sure to uh, bring some cash. We'll have ATMs as well. Very good. Now, how often do, uh, do y'all have air shows out at Cannon Air Force Base? So we have air shows every other year, but the years we are not having an air show, we actually have what we call just an open house, specifically just for our Air Force Special Operations Command aircrafts there. So we open up to the community. We'll have live bands and things like that. So every other year, so come to this one. And come to the 2018 one. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm prepping you guys up, but come to the 2016 so you can see what we have. And then we'll add on more stuff, more attractions, more demonstrations. And it's going to be a great, a great event. How close can uh, people get to the, uh, to, to the planes? You know, some of them, they can even go inside, push really? some buttons. Yeah, and there's going to be air crew there. So people who fly these planes every day that they can talk to about what they do on a day-to-day basis. That's very cool. Cool for the kids and for the adults. Yeah, definitely. And we encourage everybody to come.
Well, it's uh, this is going on at Cannon Air Force Base on May 28th and 29th. Um, for uh, for folks who haven't been there, it's an easy drive, easy to get there, and uh, you know there are signs that point along the way. And if you go while the air show is going on, just look for all the you know all the jets flying over, and <laughs> and you'll be, you'll know you're going in the right direction. And keep in mind that there's an hour time change. Yes, that's <laughs> yeah. a good point. <laughs> Very good point. Uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so this is coming up on the twenty uh, eighth and 29th. ninth. Uh, again, what time does uh, everything start? What time do you advise people to get there if they really want to, you know, be sure to get you know a good space and all, all that kind of good stuff? Yeah, so that's a good question. Um, the gates open at nine, so I anticipate a lot of folks from Clovis and Portales area local will be starting to come to the gates around 8 30 okay. so i imagine the folks coming from uh lubbock you know get there maybe around the same time we'll open up the gates uh you'll have enough time to uh park with because the parking now this year will be actually on the flight line instead of busing you from a different location hmm. you'll be on the flight line and the first event which is the national anthem jump uh will be at 10 o'clock and the aerial demonstration will continue on till four o'clock. So I say eight thirty will be a great time for you guys to get there and make enough time for you guys to get on the uh, static display area. Very cool. Thanks for coming in today. Appreciate it. Thank you.